I was hoping you'd come back to me. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. 
What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves, and look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Hmm. First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa! And seen. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh. It's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. It's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? 
Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Harem Scarum? this crap. I wonder where this goes. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. <sighs> Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. 
Oh, uh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a uh, code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my God. Right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm -hmm. Which way? Uh, 
All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful. Digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. Boner. Fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret. Sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down.
What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, dang. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. <laughs> Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ring -a -ding -a -ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. 